Simon Webster. Um, I am the lead physiotherapist here at Cousin Lane uh, for Nuffield Health. I had a sort of 16, 17 year career in professional uh, football and then I moved into physiotherapy. Uh, I worked in the health service for about three years and then I went back to West Ham as a physiotherapist for the first team in the reserves and then I came out of it when we had our children and I've been with Nuffield Health since then. It's a little bit like the TARDIS here because you come in through a very small door and you don't expect to see what you see. You know, we've got, uh, I think there's five studios, you know, we have uh, got room for big classes, we have all the gym equipment, we have a swimming pool, we have three squash courts, we have, you know, physiotherapy in there, we have um, personal trainers and we all try and sort of integrate our services together to try and help all of our clients really. I heard about the Auto G uh, via my old mentor at uh, West Ham. Uh, he had taken one into his clinic, was having very good results with it. He invited me over to have a little look at it and I was very impressed with the, the piece of kit um, and I sort of followed the sort of the progress of it since then. The use of the machine I think is could benefit lots of areas. I know, you know, sporting environments, they're always looking at ways that they can um, encourage earlier weight bearing, get their players back a little bit quicker. There's, there's not been too many ways of encouraging weight bearing at a progressive level other than using, you know, a pair of crutches or you know, things like that. I think this is a great way of, of doing that. What we've found is that you can get people up and weight bearing probably a little bit earlier than you would normally do. Typical people that we've found helpful is sort of post-operative knee knee patients. Often it's sort of quite sore to start with when you you know when you're coming back from a, an operation. I've had a couple of uh, Achilles patients. People have ruptured their Achilles and had their Achilles repaired. Uh, we can get them on here, reduce the weight, try and encourage normal mechanics of walking a little bit earlier, uh, which I think is both encouraging for the patient, you know, from a psychological point of view and from a tissue point of view, tissues like to be loaded but it's about managing the load so you don't want to overload things too early. You know, in terms of obesity, you know, we have a, a big problem with obesity at the moment and trying to encourage people into exercise. This is a way of just, say, unweighting them a little bit, allowing them to do the exercise and having less stress on their joints because that's often a barrier to, to getting people to do, you know, really good weight bearing exercise. I did, so I ran the marathon, but unfortunately we didn't have this machine. <laughs> if we did, it would have been you know, greatly beneficial for the injuries. Um, I had lower back, ankle and knee injuries throughout, throughout training, so it definitely would have been a massive help for me. And I know some of the marathon runners this year used it, um, and they're members of the club as well. So. Yeah, I think most of the members are really intrigued by it, first of all, um, and then once they've had a go on it and understand how to actually use it, um, they do ask to come and have a go on it themselves. Generally it's for people that do have injuries or train four to six times a week. They use it for rehab as well, so it's very popular. All of our personal trainers bring their clients on it. They use it as part of their um, workouts at least once a week. And we've obviously got a large physio team as well that use it with their patients. So it's been well received at the club as a whole. It's good for me to analyse from the back so I can look at mechanics. I think in terms of normal mechanics you can sort of up to about 60% body weight and then we start to sort of change, change body mechanics and how you run. So you stop, stop striking midfoot. I mean as a physiotherapist you're always looking at objective markers to see the benefit of what you're, you know, what you're implementing. So if we've got some good uh, objective markers, say they're starting to increase their body weight and less pain then we know that we're we're getting there you know ideally you'd like to have one in you know in all all areas of, of health really